Hi guys, we are here on the last stop of our Dalmatia trip and we came here to Shibenik for the night. We're only here for a short period of time. We're here for this afternoon and evening and then tomorrow morning before our taxi driver picks us up to bring us to Zadar. So we'll bring you along for a few of the sites in Shibenik and you can check it out with us. So just like in Split, in Tohir, in Kvar, all the places that we've been in Dalmatia as well as a lot of other parts of Europe, Shibenik has an old town area which is pedestrian zone only. There's no cars allowed and there's full of all these cute alleyways that you can walk through. Uh, little restaurants, little cafes, and you kind of go behind every turn is something new as you're walking through. It's really cute. of St. James, known as the Katedrala Svetog Jakova in Croatian, one of the major historical sites in Šibenik. This cathedral is an UNESCO World Heritage Site that was completed in the year 1535. The church was built completely of stone from the island of Brač in Croatia. This Brački common limestone is famous for its light color and was even used in building parts of the White House in the U.S. You can see both Gothic and Renaissance influences throughout the building's architecture, and one interesting piece of art on the facade is the 74 sculpted faces of men, women, and children, which you can see here. See these faces on top of this window? Does anybody else think that they look like the ghosts in the Haunted Mansion in Disney World? Every other face totally looks like it to me. up here to St. Michael's Castle to come check it out inside and it's closing early for a concert today and tomorrow <laughs> so we're just enjoying the view from up here from outside the castle so back in the 15th and 16th century Shibenik was one of the most well protected cities on this coastline because it actually had five fortresses so St. Michael's Fortress that we just walked up to was one of the five uh, and it is the closest one to Old Town, which is the reason that we walked up there versus some other ones. They renovated that one to become kind of a concert hall, but you can visit the fortress during the day or the castle during the day if you'd like. The entire Old Town of Shibenik, you can basically walk the whole thing in five, ten minutes. It's really a small city, which is a nice midway stopping point, whether you're sailing the coastline of Croatia because they have a harbor here, or if you're on a road trip, on a tour, it's also a nice place to stop for Kutka waterfalls because it's much closer because this is kind of the central stopping point between Zadar and Split. It's an hour from each of them. Um, so they do have day trips, but you really don't need much time here. I think one day is plenty. Here along the harbor side of Shibenik where the boats and yachts can dock if you are stopping here for the night. Uh, they have a little playground for kids, they have trampolines, um, little shops, little stores, the usual that you find while you're around Croatia. Over here you can see the Riva dock side where all the yachts are coming in and they all seem to be resetting, fixing their lines because a big storm seems to be rolling through thundering. We'll see what this develops into shortly. 
And now here's the rain. You can see everybody running around like maniacs trying to put everything away. <laughs> Here we have pouring rain and sun at the same time with this crazy Croatian weather. Here we are at restaurant Piat, which I found on Google. Um, they have here every day they made they make homemade bread, three different types of bread, and then two types of oil, which I've been finding is very common down here in Dalmatia that you have two, three, even four types of oil on the table so that you can try all the different brands and all the different types that they have. This looks so good. Beetroot with goat cheese and black truffles, yum. And now for the main course, uh, squid ink linguine, black linguine with mixed uh, seafood. And Mikey got beef cheeks with fried Mushrooms? What kind of mushrooms? Oyster. Oyster mushrooms and potatoes, mashed potatoes. Looks so good. Dobar tek. So dinner at Piat restaurant was delicious. Very, very good food. Highly recommend. It's right off the Riva, so it's very easy to get to. Tonight we're calling it an early night to because tomorrow we have to travel from Shibenik to Zadar and then from Zadar on Katamaran back to Ilovik. So we had an easygoing morning here in Shibenik. We had a nice breakfast, um, hung out in the park a bit, and now we're taking our taxi over to Zadar for our trip home. Okay, so our taxi driver dropped us off from Shibenik to Zadar. It's an hour ride. Behind me is the famous Kala Larga Road in Zadar. We're going to take a little walk around, show you around some of the major sites before we head off to Ilovik. Our ferry is about an hour and a half, so we have a little bit of time to explore. Here in front of us is the famous Sveti Donat Church in the center of the Zadar Old Town, which is a pedestrian-only area. One of the tour guides in Split was telling us how there's so many old things in Croatia that they end up just leaving them out in the open because they're not even something that's unique or special anymore, so they don't even <laughs> care to keep them inside to protect them. There's just way too many. Now we are walking over here by the waterfront of Zadar and you can hear in the background the music is the famous water organ that they built here. I'll give you a little bit of an up close view, although you won't see much, you'll just kind of hear where the music is coming out of. So the waves naturally come over here and create the sound as the air is pushed through the water organ. Cleverly, what they did was they turned this bench up here to a giant organ next to the water organ. See the keys?
Oh, it's actually made out of like wood and stone for the colors. You can see on the waterfront side here in Zadar, they have all little shops. And then on this side, they have playgrounds for kids, trampolines for kids, the bounce houses, which we found in quite a lot of the waterfront towns in Croatia. Uh, so that people, especially in the evenings right now, it's a little bit too hot, the sun is high. But everybody comes out here, families, you know, they buy little snacks and they enjoy themselves. Okay, so that's it for our time here in Zadar. We only had a short time to spend here. Um, I would say both Shibinik and Zadar are cute, small seaside towns with old town areas. Uh, the one benefit to me of Zadar versus Shibinik is that it doesn't have the stairs that Shibinik has, although Shibinik wasn't that bad. Quad was really the most intense with the stairs and constantly climbing. I know because of not having the stairs and being so close to sea level, Zadar sometimes has issues with flooding when there's bad weather, when there's higher tides, but either town is really nice if you're here on a boat, on a yacht, sailboat. They're both nice for an overnight stop um, and they're nice even if you're just traveling the coast of Croatia. They're kind of like middle cities uh, along the coastline so they're not, you know, they're kind of a nice midsection between northern islands and the southern islands. Thanks everyone for watching. Please be sure to subscribe and like uh, this video and we'll talk to you soon. Thanks!